Yo, what is my anniversary? Well, let's talk about my hero. And the lady's absolutely killing it today. Not only do we get to see a really good use of trigger, um, and just get like a better understanding of how much more potent everything gets once you use it. Not only that, if it was released into the ocean, it would have absolutely destroyed it, making maybe fish and stuff like that go out of control. But overall, <sighs> as our gravity girl says, it would have ruined the ecosystem. And she stopped that from happening. And it only cost her almost throwing up. <laughs> Making the whole plane uh, zero gravity definitely put a toll on her. And seeing her be the one to save this plane and push herself even further than she did when she helped a friend who she really cares about. It really goes to show you her development as a hero. It shows you how much thought she put into her outfit instead of just, um, you know, Getting it repaired, she actually added some stuff that are very viable to help her get to her targets and be able to even, you know, turn them into zero gravity, stuff like that. Uh, overall, though, this was just another showcase of how the show can easily stretch out episodes, like stretch out seasons if they really want to, because even if this didn't happen in the manga or if it did regardless these characters are still important enough to get their own episodes in my opinion like this episode wasn't like the worst thing to watch ever just because the, the main character wasn't on screen um they've been building these characters up since day one and to see them progress this far is cool unfortunately the frog couldn't do as much um, to keep up with these other two girls that are around her age group slash level of like job but regardless she still showed up and did what she was supposed to do which was being attentive and trying her hardest at the end of the day she tried to catch on to the plane before it got too far away couldn't but because of her being on the boat with the smoke screen it would make sense that it would take her some time to actually understand the situation around her, not being able to see here. Well, you can hear, but you can't see or really physically reach out for anything until it's visible or it's right in front of you when you're hitting it. So I don't blame her that much. Regardless, this was a good episode. This was nice to see them kill it, enjoy their time, bring back some old pro heroes. And it makes you think, like, what if pro heroes ever had to use triggers or, you know, the enchantment of making themselves stronger or their court going crazy? I think that would have been a crazy um, turn of events, or it will be a crazy turn of events if that ever happens. So keep your eye out for that. If some hero ever has to take it to protect the people around him, that would be nuts to see him actually kind of like take it and control it to an extent to only hurt the enemy. But with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.